Well, hello. All right, let's do the wrestling thing. Um, wrestling! Wrestling! This is the go-home for Royal Rumble. It's not all booked as a go-home, so... It's not the go-home for Royal Rumble. It's yeah, it is. Four. It's not week three? I think it's week four. If not, we're rearranging it to week four. All right. <laughs> I swear it's week three, uh, but I might be wrong. Uh, actually, we can probably check, can't we? The computer also... I'm I'm going to check, but if you want to check as well... Then we can. Yeah, I'll check. It'll, it's in pre-booking. It'll be on screen for all the nice, lovely people. Week four. My bad. My, my bad. My bad. My, my bad. My bad. My bad. Uh, yeah, let's run the show. Uh, these are just promos so I could hit the women cap. Natalia, er, Natalia yes, here. Tucker, you do not hit women. Shame on you. <laughs> Shame on you. Alicia Fox says, I'm the black woman. Lana says, I'm the Russian woman. And Marie says, I'm the French woman. Also not actually French. Yes. Hey! So we open up the show. Say I'm the white guy and I get to open the show. <laughs> Vince says, "All hail the patriarchy." Vince says, "All right, there, Daniel Bryan. You want to come out here and you want to you want to fire your pistol, cowboy? Fine." Red's like, "What? <laughs> just, we'll participate in your king of the ring." It was your idea. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to have two blocks of competition. The same amount of people as you do. Oh, so you have one block of 12? We have one block of 10. Oh, okay. We have two. We have two blocks of six. I'd like to let you know. And uh, Brian was never that good at maths. Yeah, well, fair enough, but like, whatever, man. It's brightly. Uh, and so, excuse me about that, I had to pull up the blocks so I can announce them all to you. Uh, so Vince says, uh, Block A will consist of The Miz, Dolph Ziggler, Sheamus, The Machine Gun, Carl Anderson. So, That's not PG. That's not PG. The man <laughs> with the PG. hand guns, Finn Balor. Who is not here tonight because he was <laughs> caught up in airport security. <laughs> and finally, the world champion, Seth Rollins. Meanwhile, in Block B, I'm still putting together some things for Block B. Uh, we have Hideo Itami, Drew McIntyre, McIntyre, fuck. Pentagon Jr., Rusev, Dean Ambrose, and, uh, well, I have Ric Flair's word that, uh, this final entrant will be, will be a surprise. Glass shatters. Oh, God! Don't come! Don't come! Don't come! And, uh, they will be in action, and I, one of these matches is up next. I don't remember what match. Oh, actually, yes, I do. It is Dean Ambrose versus Rusev. Putria. 74 B minus as Dean Ambrose defeats Rusev by pinfall in 1344 by pinfall with what the fuck beats him by pinfall by pinfall with the dirty deeds. Good stuff, Tucker. You're the oh, best. Oh, okay. You were okay. Classy. <laughs> um, yeah. Overall, good stuff from everybody. It's a long match. It is. And so uh, Ambrose picks up the victory here. And uh, how we're doing it here on Raw is we're just going straight win loss. Uh, we're not doing time limit draws. None of that bullshit. There must be a winner. Because Vince wants only the strongest to represent Raw. So Rusev cuts promo and says, you know, uh, I came up short uh, in my match like literally five seconds ago. Like literally, Ambrose is still in the ring with me. Ambrose is like, hi. But uh, Baron Corbin, I can promise you one thing. I won't come up short next Sunday when I Vudria kick the head off your shoulders. It's a thing now. Vudria kick. Finn Balor gets a promo on Kevin Owens saying, you know, Owens, uh, I'm going to fucking kill you with my guns. And uh, he's in a match up next. Wait, I just realized Kevin Owens is in this one. No, he's not. Oh, is there a reason for that? Yes. 
Finn Balor uh, is in a match up next against Sheamus. Yeah. 79B, yes, as Finn Balor defeats Sheamus by pinfall with a bloody Sunday. That Sunday is very bloody. Very bloody. Ugh. So bloody. It's everywhere. It's all over the floor. Ooh. And so Finn Balor picks up a win here in the King of the Ring tournament. We move on to Kalisto cutting a promo on Seth Rollins, saying that Seth Rollins uh, won't have his buddies to watch his back next Sunday. Uh, Why? Because he's going to kill them all. Oh, okay. Remember that whole thing that I mentioned last week where Kalisto was going to face Drew McIntyre? Yeah, no, that, that's not happening. Do you remember that's... the I mentioned two weeks ago where John Cena was going to take Sami Zayn on? That wasn't happening. <laughs> it's all right. We've all had to change plans. It's all good. Taylor Ring kind of came upon yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. It was like, oh, shit, right. We got to do this. I didn't think we... Uh, all of a sudden, backstage, the club boys beat down KO. They injure Urgh. KO. They break, yeah. they break his fingers one by one. One by one? One by one. Jeez. Yeah, pretty fucked up shit. I mean, he can still wrestle with broken fingers. Yeah, yeah probably. I know, because I've, I've... Fun fact, folks at home, I've broken every... Every single one of my fingers. Oh my god, seriously? Hmm? Some of which on multiple occasions. I had, I think, three fingers I've broken twice. Fun fact for those at home, I've never broken a bone in my body. <laughs> you lucky bastard. I know. Uh, and about that had good wrestling, decent reaction from the crowd. Uh, Drew McIntyre faces another member of Seth Rollins' group. Pentagon Jr. in 623 by pinfall with an ego trip. Yeah? All ego Ethan Page incoming. <laughs> uh, Dream Actire cuts promo saying that he this, runs backstage. <laughs> this, is, this is the year of the antidote. This is the year of the Scott. This is the year of Drew McIntyre. Puts on sunglasses, walks away. Yep. Natalia is probably saying, women's wrestling! Everybody goes, wrestling. yay! And then she puts on a 61C uh, with uh, Cherry Bomb. Putty, Putty very much enjoys this picture. It's pretty great, to be honest. Uh, it's a one-minute long match. It's very small there. You should totally zoom in on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. we got to show it later. Um... Yeah. In full, in full, you should get the full picture. The full picture. <laughs> that should be the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> if I can find the... I, fine. Cherry Bomb is the thumbnail. That's fine. She should Just be the thumbnail every week. No apparent reason. Just no find new reason. thumbnails She's for there. Cherry Bomb every week. <laughs> Miz cuts a promo, and he says that he has a match um, soon with Seth Rollins, and he's going to beat the world champion and slowly start his climb back to being the most must-see to be champion of all time. Oh, apparently it was very soon, as Rollins fucking murders him in ten minutes with a Phoenix Splash. TV, TV, TV. Um, I'm surprised you didn't make it up with that. I didn't know. Ric Flair comes out to the ring. Oh, I know why. It says, ladies and gentlemen, I have, uh, I have a surprise for you. As uh, Vince came out here earlier, this is totally Ric Flair, by the way. This is totally Ric Flair. Um, I mean, as, this is more coherent than he usually is. Yeah, fair enough. Um, he says, as Vince said earlier, I have a big surprise for you, and I'd, I'd, uh, I'd like to uh, bring him out right now. Brock Lesnar is back boys I'm actually going to just do this right quick don't care uh, so Brock Lesnar is here and as he comes to the ring Ric Flair is like wooing and shit and he says that he is the only ever UFC WB and NCAA amateur wrestling champion in history he also won that IWGP title once. Yeah, shut the fuck up. That's not real. <laughs> Actually, technically... SmackDown says it's real. Between <laughs> Raw, it isn't. <laughs> and the Beast Wait, Incarnate is going to kill you. in that case, the title you. isn't real either. Because that's our title. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's never been WWE champion. And the Beast Incarnate 
is going to kill you. Me specifically. This was quite good. <laughs> Poor Hideo. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Hideo. You kind of got caught up in this whole situation here. <laughs> I was like, hmm, Hideo. <laughs> uh, Lesnar beats Hideo in six minutes by pinfall with an F5. Hit him with an F5. Hideo actually improved, though. Yep. I think they're around the same age. <laughs> yeah, I think they are. Then we get a Dolph Ziggler promo. Dolph Ziggler says he's going to win his main event match up next against Carl Anderson. Machine gun car. Yeah, main eventing two shows in a row. And he says... Yes, he says that when he does, he's going to go on to win King of the Ring, and he's going to challenge Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. No, like, no Rumble aspirations then for Dolph Ziggler? No, he's just going to win King of the Ring. Ah, uh, is he even in the Rumble? Yes. Okay. But he doesn't want to win it. No, not really. Okay. He's not about that Rumble life. I see. And we get Carl making an entrance. I like to think there are like legitimate machine guns fired off. The machine gun. Machine gun. Carl Anderson. And we end with. It's gonna be good. 81B, uh, be good. as Dolph Ziggler defeats Carl Anderson in 14 in 1543 by pinfall with a famouser. Carl Anderson learned some technical skills. The excellent grappling of Dolph Ziggler. Hell yeah. This show increased the population in 15... Population in 15 <laughs> regions. the population of the town we were in. <laughs> everybody saw Carl, and it was just... Oh. Actually, no. Every, I like the, everybody I saw Cherry to, Bomb and was like... Oh. And there it goes. Honey, so, get home. <laughs> it's all over the place. Uh, yeah. There's fucking Barry Horowitz. Yep. He's here, Maggle. He's fucking here. I'll try to find a cherry bomb thing. 